Hey everybody, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition. And today, I went to a local game store. It's a local game store that carries a Kickstarter exclusive stuff. And I picked up Bradlands. And I thought I'd bring you, uh, hey, what's in the box? Uh, kind of unboxing, but you already see what it is. But see what kind of components come with Radlands. So let's go ahead and get to it. So Radlands, I, I skipped out on the Kickstarter. I wasn't sure about it. Um, started, it recently started fulfilling, so people started getting it. So I started paying a little closer attention to, you know, what people were thinking. And it was kind of bouncing around in my head, do I want to buy it? And then recently, a buddy of mine uh, asked me if I wanted to come over and play some two-player games if I have any. And most of the ones I had, we had played before or... Um, they just weren't interested. I knew they weren't interested in that type of game. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to run by the store and I'm going to go ahead and pick up Radlands because I'm kind of interested. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about the box in the back. Like I said, this is a Kickstarter game. Um, it's by Roxley Games. It's a good game design company. Uh, it's for two players. Um, it's 20 to 40 minutes. I don't have a game like this, but a line battler is basically what I keep hearing. So you're gonna you're fighting an opponent and a line battler, and you have some bases you're protecting. But I thought this was interesting. Uh, maybe I'll read through it really quick since it's gonna be a short video, anyways. So it says, "I saw a creature, naked, bestial, who, squatting upon the ground, held his heart in his hand, and ate of it." I said, "Is it good, my friend?" It is bitter, bitter, he answered. But I like it because it is bitter and because it is my heart. It is from In the Dark from Stephen Crane. I don't necessarily know what or who that is, but that's just a cool little quote. So it comes in a magnetic box, which is really cool. So there's a little mag in there. You got the cool R, I just noticed that too. Pops his head off. So you blow his head off. It's a, it's a 14 and over game, so it's a, it's a little mature. So what do we got in here? We got some cards. We got some more cards over here. We got, looks like that's the player aid. And then we have, oh, and then a fresh pack. And then in the middle, you have these, I heard it called backgammon chips. And they do, I just recently played backgammon, maybe not for the first time, but the first time I remember. Whew. And they do kind of look like backgammon chips. So we got some black ones. We got some white ones. I think these, if I remember right, each person starts with these. They get these. And then these are ones that you can um, you can get from the middle from like a pile. So you get a handful of chips. Let's see. I think there's six of them. There's six white. Is there six black? Six white, six black chips. And then we got some cards. This is probably the loosest packed set of cards that I've ever uh, come across. Um, and, you know, when I was going through the Kickstarter, I liked the art. It's post-apocalyptic. You're battling for water, or you're using water, really, I guess, to battle. Maybe kind of battling for water, too, and you're trying to protect your base. But I, from what I started hearing is that it's, a, it's an easy-to-play game, and it feels like they're plastic cards. I watched them do this, like, whole bendy thing. It kind of worries me. And that they'll keep shape. I'm not going to... They made corner to corner meat. I'm not going to do that. Um, but they do kind of feel like plastic cards. So as you can see, some great art. Some fun art. Anyways, like I was saying, it's supposed to be a fast, easy to teach, easy to play game. Right? And I'm going to run through and try to figure out how to play it right after we do this video. I'm just going to go through these really quick so you guys can see that great art. Because I really do like the art. And I'm neither here nor there about post-apocalyptic. There's been a couple games I've almost picked up that are post-apocalyptic. All right, looks like now that we're starting to get some, yeah. We're starting to get the same card, just doubled. Oh, that guy looks kind of new. We'll go through here a little quicker. I do not see... Um, yeah, you can hear it too. Let's see if I... They don't sound like normal cards, a little plastic. All right, so there's those cards. I do not see the directions. I'm assuming they're in here, but I do not see them in here. They must be in the box somewhere and I didn't see them. So let's go ahead and open this. 
Go ahead and pop this out and throw it over there. These are reference cards. All right, so you got your two reference cards. Each person gets a vehicle and they get a little outpost, if I remember right, from looking at how they play and they sit up on the right. So there's those. Go ahead and set those down. And then we have these cards. Some really, oh, these are the bases, if I remember right. Um, I think there's supposed to be 34, but there's 36. Or maybe it's 32 and 36 with the Kickstarter version, because there's going to be a, a uh, retail version of this, I guess, and not deluxified. But I haven't seen anybody talk about that one yet. Everyone seems to have this deluxified. And there's also a version that comes with um, Playmats, who is $20 more. They didn't actually have it at the game store. I would have picked that one up. But there's all that. I don't see... It has to be in here and I just missed it. Oh, there it is. There it is, it is in there. Oh, that's pretty slick. It slides in the back right there. Oh, it says put the tokens in that way, huh? Instead of stacking them how they were. All right, it's a pretty slick little box. So here's the rules. This is a pretty thick uh, card, let's see. We got 14 pages. That's the general facts, general facts. Camp facts, end game. All right, so 11 pages of rules to jump through this. No reference guide in the back, but I know the cards actually have the reference. Oh, I threw that down sideways. Come on, Steve, you're supposed to make it look nice for the camera. Right, oh, oh, look at all those cards. Oh, cards everywhere. Oh, it looks so nice for the camera. Oh, it looks nasty. <laughs> anyway, so. I mean, you got your effects icon. I guess that's what you really need to know. So, not too bad. Doesn't come with a lot of stuff. Uh, it's, I think, $49. The place I got it from, they discount stuff, so it was $39 for me to pick it up. But that's everything that comes in Radlands from Roxley Game. It's a two-person line battler card game, I guess is the best way to put it. But now the cards don't. Well, as you can see, they don't want to stay. Ooh, magic. Anyways, um, they didn't want to stay put. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to sit down, try to figure out how to play this, and I'll do a how to play, um, and then try to get a review out for you guys as soon as I can. But I'm Steven with Cardboard Coalition, and I'll see you later, everybody. Bye.